everybody. This is Suzette Birnan and welcome to Redefining My 60s. It's my vlog where I'm just chronicling what it's like to be in my 60s and to redefine my life on my own terms. Now, I want you to like, share, subscribe, because if you are in your 60s as well, and you have been looking for a channel, something on social media, where somebody who looks like you in their 60s talking about the things that truly matter in this decade of your life, then you are in the right place. You're in the right place. I would be remiss. Uh-oh, what's this on here? I would be remiss. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is what it is. I would be remiss if I did not include in my episodes the importance of fitness. I know that in our 60s we want to look good, but it's even more important that we feel good. Cause it doesn't do any good to be all dressed to the nines and then you just you feel terrible you don't have energy you can't climb the steps your knees are hurting your shoulders are hurting all these different things that can happen when you're in your 60s i'm gonna go into a little bit more of it in some future episodes but i wanted you to just see that exercising is very very important now right now I'm on what they call a rebounder some people call it a mini trampoline and what I like about it is you can kind of move on this and it doesn't hurt anything because there's buoyancy underneath your feet I am barefoot <laughs> let's get my leg up okay there you go and I'm just kind of bouncing I'm kind of bouncing. It's moving the molecules around in my body. It's getting my blood to flowing. I'm naturally moving my shoulders and so forth, right? And it's just a good way, maybe about five minutes a day is a good start if you haven't been doing anything. Now I have to tell you, one of the things that I realized in my 60s is that I could not afford to sit down all day and not move. I have found that if I just sit on the sofa all day, watch TV, mull around the house, don't really do that much, I feel worse instead of better. And it was really a surprise to me because I used to could do that. I used to kind of could sit around, you know, work from home, not have to get up and move that much except for to go get a snack or two or whatever. But I would work from home all day and sometimes I'd forget to eat because I was so involved in what I was doing on that darn computer, y'all. But now that I'm retired, oh my goodness, I'm beginning to find out, no, let me add, retired and in my 60s. That's important. I have come to find out that I cannot afford to just sit. Now, one of the things I used to do is I would go to line dancing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, maybe go on Thursdays, mm, you know, it just depended. And what would happen is Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I wasn't really exercising. And then Mondays, right, I wasn't really exercising. And I started noticing on those days consecutively when I was not moving, I wasn't exercising, I wasn't walking, I wasn't lifting weights, I wasn't doing anything. Guess what would happen? My neck would ache, my shoulders would ache, my lower back would ache, my knees would ache. And I'm like, well, what in the world? I haven't really done anything to cause myself to have all this kind of pain. And that was the issue. I had not done anything. And so what I've begun to do, actually the day was the first day I did it, was I went 
This whole week I went line dancing on Tuesday, line dancing Wednesday, line dancing Thursday. No, Tuesday, I'm sorry. That class was canceled. Because that class was canceled, I went walking at the park, at a local park. So I went walking at the park Tuesday, line dancing Wednesday, line dancing Thursday. And today I went to a low impact uh, workout at an area community center. Everything I did this week was free. The only thing that it required was for me to get up, get dressed, and go. And I did that today. And I'm telling you what, that low impact workout, whoo, my, my shoulders and arms got worked out in a way that they normally don't when I'm just going to line dancing. So I decided I'm going to start incorporating that into my normal schedule. The reason I chose line dancing is because I love dancing. And with line dancing, we learn different choreography, you know, just different things, different music. It's a lot of fun. We're high-fiving each other. It's such a great community of women and a few cool men. And we help each other and everything. And it gets me out of the house. It helps me to connect with other people in a real way. Don't y'all sleep on us 60s women. Honey, these women, oh, they don't play. They come in and they work out. I'm telling you, and full of energy, full of vitality, full of love. I'm telling you, so just getting out and getting among these women is helping me emotionally as well as helping me physically. And so I just wanted to get up here on my rebounder for a little bit so that I could talk to you about the importance of getting moving. Now, you might not be ready to jump on a rebounder like this, even though this is pretty cheap. I got it at Walmart. You can get it in the, um, I think it's the sports section of Walmart or somebody can tell you about it, but a little mini trampoline. And maybe instead of doing what I'm doing, you can just do this. Just a little bit of a walk, just to kind of get your legs and your knees going, you know, just a little bit of something. If you need to hold on to the wall, do that, you know, do what you need to do. If you need to turn around, embrace yourself a little bit, do that, you know, do that. Ooh, something on my toe, but do that. But the main thing, the main point of this video is get moving. Do something. Do something. And it'll make a world of difference. If you're consistent, start slow. Like I said, just five minutes a day in the beginning. If you just start, start with a minimum. But the main thing is if you get up every day and do something small over time, you'll start to notice a difference in how you feel, a difference in how your body is redistributing, you know, how it's, it's not as uh, flabby as it used to be. Things don't hurt like they used to. Your digestion is better. You're noticing you're not, you're not having as many stomach problems as you were having. You'll notice that the circulation that you're breathing gets better, which is really important to take those deep breaths in and blow them out and to tighten up your core, to tighten these core muscles while you're, you're doing what you're doing. And you'll start to notice that your body feels better, your body looks better, and you have more energy. Okay, so let's get moving, ladies. Let's get moving.